tonight, I feel like um, that's a good question. I feel like it's different every game because you know some teams shoot a lot, so some games it could be long rebounds. Sometimes you know there's just an extra emphasis on guys going to the glass. So I feel like today, I just feel like honestly, um, as a team, as a collective, we really focused on that aspect of the game coming in. Last year, I watched the film and it seemed like they got we got out rebounded uh, playing them. So I feel like coach really wanted to put an extra emphasis on it. And um, I feel like we just executed it really well on the defensive end and the boards in general. What can you say about how this offense may not be going well, but mm -hmm. this team's knack for grinding it out just on defense? Yeah, playing for someone like Bobby, who's just tough minded and a, just a just a competitor in general, he, he always preaches to us like, you can't depend on scoring and you can't look at scoring as something to like judge whether you played good or not. So I feel like uh, we all just want to win and, and to win, we got to play defense. Defense wins championships. So um, I feel like we're just following the blueprint that Bobby um, played for us. Just to that point, um, you had the dive on the floor and Bobby touched over the key point in the game. What's it like when you see you know, you, you're doing that? Obviously, your teammates are doing that. Yeah. Kind of stuff. What is it like? It, it's actually pretty funny because like every time there's a loose ball in practice, like it'll be you mishandle in the drill. Like everybody just dives on it. It's just a good habit we like to do every day, and I feel like it carries over to the games. So um, yeah, I just feel like that's that's just part of our 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 dog and just our identity as a team. So I love it. Uh no, we don't actually. We don't. That's good. That's a good little point though. We should probably do that. That'd be fun. Seems like in the first half, especially, you guys were really locked in on defense. Mm -hmm. What was working so well in the first half, especially? Um, I feel like we just did a good job of containing um, some of the key players. Um, Ingram had a, had a solid game. I feel like we did a good job of just um, containing him in the first half. Other guys, too, I just feel like we were just everywhere, flying everywhere. And the guards did a great job of switching and, and um, just doing the game plan that Coach put forward for us. Well, you, got, you just got to take a game, one game at a time. Um, you can't think about the last win. You can't think about the last loss. You got to, it's got to be 50 50 whether you win or lose. You got to stay balanced and you got to go into the next game free minded and not thinking about anything and just think about winning that game. You see Desmond do some of the things that you just know quite a bit. And what is it about him, his personality, or I, I love playing with Dev. He's a, like I play. I've gotten the privilege to play with Dez for like three, three, four years or something like that. Uh, so I, I actually knew what to expect expect with Dev. But it's just it's just refreshing playing with someone like him because he does a little bit of everything and he just wants to win. Like I've been saying. So I'm a, I'm a Desmond though. Like the shooting that he provided. Oh, Des, you talking about Desmond? Yeah. My fault. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Desmond. <laughs> my fault. I, I thought I heard Dev, but. Yeah, Dez, like, we all know what Dez brings to the table. He's a scorer, he's a dog, he's an alpha. And I feel like we follow him as a, as a group and as a, as a team, we follow that. And I feel like it carries over just with all of us and it rubs off. Is there anything else to chemistry as a team because you have a lot of different players in the crowd before it opens. Yep. You know Dez really well, you know Dez yep. even pretty well. I mean, does that do you think kind of help like, the chemistry come uh, together maybe faster than people think it is? Most definitely. And I feel like it's credit to Coach Hurley, too, because he found the right pieces and he knew what he wanted um, coming into this offseason and what he wanted to work on. And um, he brought in us. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Desmond Cambridge Jr. is joining us. Continue questions. This one's this one for uh, both of you guys. Right? So, we got up to 13 at one point. Stanford even got a one point advantage down the stretch. Was there any sort of panic within your team? Uh, personally, no, because I feel like it's a game of runs and um, they were going to go on a run regardless. We just had to weather the storm and I feel like we did that a little bit later on. And um, yeah, I expected it. it's a game of runs and uh, we just got to do our best to contain when they come on the run. So I thought we did a good job of that later on in the second half. That being said, I mean, what you're saying later in the second half, but even when they made the run, did you feel Offensively, when you first half went on to win, the second half, did they get more and more frustrated with your guys' overall team defense? You want me to answer that? Um, yeah, I just feel like we had, we had like, when they started making a run, we had a couple of hiccups on offense, and I feel like uh, we were just kind of lost, and uh, we, we just had to come back as a unit and just, you know, calm down and relax because, like you guys said, we, we have a bunch of transfers, new guys, and, you know, 
situations like that are perfect for us because we got to learn how to build and work on stuff that we need to work on. So I felt like that was just a good learning experience. Does it mean being like that? Do you feel like, okay, we need to start getting some offense here and we're just almost like a takeover mentality that happens at all? I mean, it, it, it definitely situational. So I got those first two fouls at the start of the second half. So I was watching a lot of their comeback. And so I'm just sitting there fuming on the bench, you know, like, you see, I be I'm very energized, so you know, I, I felt like we need a little spark, and so you know, I came in, hit those two shots, and uh, especially if I'm hitting shots, I can I can you know, bring us together, just give us a spark because we're gonna play defense, you know, consistently. But if your shots not falling on offense, it can really you know take a toll mentally, and you might have some lapses on defense just because you're not playing as well on offense. But, uh, so because he hit that winning shot uh, in Colorado just a few nights ago, did you come in with more confidence or are you just the type of guy that just like flushes that away? It's a new game. Um, I definitely used to be um, a guy who, <laughs> but you know, I've been doing this for a long time. This is my sixth year um, in college. So, you know, you got to stay poised. You um, never get too high, never get too low. And um, we're just here to win games consistently. Every, you know, figure out a way to win because if we win, Everyone on our team is going to reap the benefits. So that has been my thing since I got here. So you guys were sure. leading Dan, you said that you just felt like this team really carried you given everything that they have gone through these past couple of seasons. Given the early success, how did that sort of reinforce your mindset? Uh, and I guess your vision for where this team can go. I just feel like it speaks to the guys that we got on our team because coming in, we got a lot of talented players, a lot of guys who could put the ball in the rim and the whole, I mean. And I just feel like it, it goes to show the unselfishness and uh, the fact that we could play a role because you know a lot of guys are out here trying to stat, get their stats and all that, but we're out here trying to get wins. That's all it is. You guys have managed to start 2-0 in the Pac-12 despite getting it tonight for 49 and 3. Uh, is, that, is that a concern at all uh, to be shot selection? Or is it something where, hey, when we heat up, then we'll be really clear? Man, um, I really, but uh, that that's a hard question for me personally because I might shoot some questionable shots sometimes. But, <laughs> but I feel like that's Coach Hurley's, um, you know, just identity that he's had at this at this school. You know, uh, guard you. Um, you know, I definitely like that. Uh, I'm a guard, so. But um, at the end of the day, as long as we play defense, I feel like. We we definitely even though we have freedom, there is a there's still structure in the offense, and you have to you know take. If different people have different leases, so you just have to know the flow of the game, and um, that's what I think makes us dangerous because you can't really, you know, what's the word? Uh, predict what we're going to do, and so I think that just keeps us um, one step ahead of the defense. But uh, I don't think it's fair to say that was a big shot. <laughs> To be honest, I don't think he said that to. to, uh, Yeah, I don't think I've heard him say that once. (laughs) That's a good question, actually. That's a good question. I don't think I've heard him say that. Yeah, man. That's funny. Because I think he really just appreciates how how hard we're playing on defense, man. And so, when when you got a coach like that, like it makes you want to play hard for him. So um, I definitely commend him for that, and I love him for it. So, yeah. What are those <laughs> that's like that's my first of all that's my brother like we're roommates and like we could communicate a hundred different ways so like y'all seen it seen it that way but it, it's nothing personal and like like i said we, we got like new guys on this team and we're we're still grinding out and figuring out a lot of stuff so that type of stuff is going to happen and we got to go through that to um, learn each other's game and all that type of stuff and we still haven't played our best basketball yet, so that, like, Thanks. so that just goes to show like how dangerous we really could be. But to answer your question, that's that's all part of the game, and that's my brother, and I love him. How different are the expectations on defense going forward from where you guys came from? I know Doug's been with a different program before before now, but how, how does it compare? Um. Hmm. <laughs> I still I feel like they were similar. Uh, yeah, because yeah, they were still similar. It's just the guys that we have here um, are just you know more God gifted than you know other teams that I played with before. And so we we're athletic, we're tall, and we can communicate really well. And when you have a team like that, we can switch basically everything, which makes things a lot easier. And um, 
we have good team chemistry. And so, like, you see Warren and Frankie, you know, maybe yelling at each other or talking to each other. You have to be able to do that while you're in the game, but keep your cool because um, when we're playing other really good teams and good poise teams, um, um, you're going to make mistakes. So um, defense is really more communication and effort. So you got to, uh, yeah. Really talked about depth and being able to put you guys in and out. What do you guys feel like that? What does the team's mentality kind of go into that, knowing that you're going to go in short spurts and be able to do high effort and high intensity? Um, that's tough to scout against because you you really don't know who to scout against at like the other teams and the other and other teams' position. So I feel like that just really helps us because it's going to be a different guy night every every game. Like it could be Dez night one game, it could be Frankie's night the other game. It doesn't matter. But as long as we get in that win, that's all that really matters. But to, to answer your question, depth, like, I've never really been on a team with this amount of depth in the wing position. And I just feel like it makes us really dangerous because, uh, my fault. What was your question? My fault. <laughs> my fault. What's the mentality with shorter spurts and being able to play high intensity uh, with that depth? Let me take it. Yeah, you got it. Well, I, I feel like we're going like, um, it lets us it lets us exert a lot of energy really quickly. It lets us guard people, you know, full court and uh, really just disrupt their offense. Because I feel like Stanford and Colorado, they, you know, slower offense, uh, like to, you know, move the ball, get back cuts. And um, if you let teams like that uh, stay comfortable, they, you know, they'll pick you apart. But that's why I feel like that's our identity. We really like ruffle feathers, really energize and I'm going to, uh, make you work for everything on offense. So uh, I think that's uh, Coach Hurley definitely emphasized that today that we want to, from the jump, uh, disrupt everything they want to do and um, you're going to get out quick. So, yeah. Good answer. For both of you guys, you know, uh, Desmond, obviously, and all around Florin, Warren, um, you're obviously a wing protector. Who do you emphasize your, your game out there? And, like, how much, how much do you try to, like, take the form out? Hmm, that's a good question. I look at a lot of different guys and take things from a lot of guys, and I just try to make it into one. Because I feel like if you just take one player, that's almost impossible to do because everybody's different. You're different as a basketball player. So I'd say I just I take it from a, a like just a different group of amount of people, and I watch film on them and take little things from them and put it together. Um. Well, Kobe Bryant was my favorite player, rest in peace. Um, and so I definitely model, you know, a lot of, because I shoot a lot of fades, just, you know, shoot over people. And um, that's always been my tendencies. But as I matured, I realized, um, you know, I have teammates. So, you know, I need to pass the ball sometimes. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And so now it's really, um, yeah, just do whatever is necessary, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the, the higher le you get in basketball, um, like, you just want to do more. Some people like to Keep focus on specific attributes, but, you know, I feel like the best players can do all around things. And uh, that's kind of what I'm headed for because I just want to play at the next level. So whatever I can do to help us win, uh, yeah. So. You guys have closed out two straight games that were tied or close to it in the final minute. Now that the season has progressed a little bit, how much of a learning experience was that Texas Southern game? Mm. Man. Mm. <laughs> Man, I thought we weren't going to talk about that. About that. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have a bad flashback right there. Yeah. Man. I mean, you got that. To be honest, everything is a learning experience. I definitely don't like learning from losses because uh, I learned a lot of stuff from here. Like, I turned the ball over at the end of the game right there. And I'm like, I'm mad about that, even though we won. I'm still happy. But there's always something to learn from. But yeah, that, that was just a real, real tough one. Cause, and I was the one who I could have reaped. Yeah, I'm not yeah, you good. Don't, 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 I'm don't good. even. You're good. Hey, that's a good spot. Yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for the time. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.